Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality and lovers of truth and wisdom. Yeah, back to um, this channel. The um, I put out a video on my main channel and um, yeah, I'm convinced that uh, YouTube has been screwing with everything. So, fuck them. So, um, perhaps from now on I'll be just releasing videos here. Uh, because it seems that um, every, t <laughs> every time I upload a video, I lose a sub or two. So, I, and a lot of other people are reporting similar um, reports of fuckery from the, um, the goose-stepping censorship fascists. So, screw them. Um, I'll focus on my little 35 sub channel here and uh, continue to speak the truth. And of course, um, anyone who speaks the truth will be um, not the most popular person on YouTube. Quite the, quite the contrary, actually. Um, they'll be shunned, vilified, censored, and all the rest of it, as is always the case. And uh, with with all the external fuckery going on, um, I mentioned something on my main channel, um, which came about as a result of a comment and response. And uh, but I'll elaborate on that in a moment. Um, in these times of the corona cult, yes, it's, it's becoming more apparent that the normies are um, fully engaging in the new religion paradigm. And bless their little boring, clueless hearts. Enjoy. Um, just don't tell the rest of us fully functioning individuals that we need to do the same. Thanks. And you're hearing bullshit about the US election and all this other shit going on in the world and the lockdowns and the hardships as a result and all the rest of that. And that keeps churning up a, an unceasing um, flow of negativity, of malevolent chaos, which for the most part it's designed to. Um... However, that doesn't really help us very much as individuals. So, one realises, anyone who shows any kind of awareness, realises, hang on, um, I'm not really enjoying my state of mind right at this moment. Uh, and I don't like the fact that external stimuli are affecting it. What can I do? So, of course that necessitates the um, the need to look within. Or as I said in my comment exchange and in my previous main channel video, um, one needs to enter one's inner mountain monastery. You've heard it entails um, mainly from countries like China, Tibet, whatever, you know, the Buddhist countries where um, the monks retreat to the mountain and build a monastery um, close enough to the to the outside world but far away enough to be able to um, look within without distraction. And this is what is needed today. Which makes me laugh um, as an aside because... You have so many of these Abrahamic gobshites going on about, oh, they're not letting us go into your churches, oh. So you need a physical building to feel connected to any kind of spiritual presence, spiritual reality. you got a wee bit of a problem. Meanwhile, the rest of us will um, enter our inner mountain monastery. 
and that really is the one way and probably only and most effective way one can actually engage within and find one's equilibrium um, peaceful state of mind and a release stress and any kind of anguish and suffering like in my case leaving one job behind being made redundant and engaging in a new job while they're putting more and more layers of bureaucratic red tape in my path to make it increasingly stressful for me to say to tell them fuck you all I'll take my redundancy payout and you can go boil your heads which has been the cause of a lot of stress lately necessitating the need to retreat to my own in a mountain monastery and the moment you begin with such a simple thing like deep breathing you can feel the difference you can feel that tension that you've been storing there for weeks months years and it's most important um, use any kind of archetypal allegorical device you need symbolic device to engage with your inner states of mind because the, the, the gateway unfortunately is our everyday ego mind um, in parlance it's called the um, the, the beta level um, of energy brainwave frequency got the, the beta alpha you know like that um, oh, and by the way, Americans, it's not beta, right? I know how to pronounce my own language. Thanks. In English, it's pronounced beta. Thank you. Or well, my other favorite, theta. For fuck's sake. And so, because it's the, the most um, thick coarse dense layer of energy frequency vibration it has a lot of the everyday mind chatter stuff in it which is the most difficult to break through because you're um you're battling through constant waves of me 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 and um, mind chatter and oh did, did i turn the, the stove off did I lose my keys? Where's my phone? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, was that over a, a notification vibration here on my phone? Blah, 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 blah. That's what you need to battle with it on the gateway level. As soon as you do that, it's easier to engage in the other levels. And once you do, you could feel a sort of calm detachment from the fuckery around you and the ability to not be sucked in negatively into um, negative states of mind like you were before and as you progress you realize it takes more and more to get you back there to the point where eventually you'll be able to if you so choose not engage back in the negative states of mind at all therein lies true freedom and of course the they quote unquote they the powers that be the ones who want the reset and all these all this other stupid shit um they realize even though they're trying their best to get as much control over you as possible and, and control your and influence your thoughts and emotions and all the rest of this what they're not realizing is that we're not biological machines. Sorry, Richard Dogma Dawkins. Sorry, um, woefully um, out of date relics of the Victorian materialist age. We are not biological machines. We are infinite awareness inhabiting various meat bags. We are not our meat bag. 
Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata is not the piano <laughs> to put it into a similar um symbol. Take Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. The materialist would say, oh, it's a result of the various keys on the keyboard. Uh, no, that's just the vehicle through which it is expressed. There's a huge fucking difference. It's the one playing the piano. It's the one who came up with a melody to begin with. Thereby enabling that person to play the, the melody on the keyboard. It is not the keyboard and the construction going into great detailed um, explanation about the keyboard and how it makes notes and all this kind of fucking stupid shit. And because they're making that mistake, they will never be able to fully control us because our true freedom lies in within. And they know that. And that's why they're trying to make people into more mindless consumers and which is also why they're trying to push this atheism agenda to disconnect people from their true innate power. Anyone with half a fucking brain can start to realise that and realise, hang on a minute, what are they fucking doing and what are we allowing them to do? It takes half a gobshite to even begin to wake up. And there, there it is. It's like, ooh, I'm an atheist, which means you're a mindless slave to, to their um, approved ideology, which is why they've fucking been pushing it for the past fucking 60, 70, 80 years. They don't want people to engage with their own power to, to reach full realisation and find true freedom within. They don't want that. They, they want a mindless army of passive consuming drones. very similar with the, with the fake ridicule they come up with um, after the JFK thing with um, <laughs> he's a, a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist no that person is probably one who is not afraid to question everything and realise that mm, there's something not quite matching up correctly here I think it's more than a so called virus And so we look within and we find we begin to find true freedom within. Even drama, even YouTube drama that you may have been connected with. Just the other day I was um, on a live stream and uh, I have to admit that that was my guilty pleasure yesterday because of all the stress and crap that I'm going through in my own real life at the moment. I found a good chuckle in it to be quite honest and uh, then I went along my merry way and... Uh, went on to other things but uh, look within people start to look within start to enter your own inner mountain monastery because it's very important to keep your own sanity and sense of equilibrium and full functioning as a sentient human being oh and if you're looking for those kind of um esoteric channels where it's like oh you know we're going to use his tone of voice and we're going to pretend we're gurus now and namaste no well you can go fuck yourself this is not that kind of channel be well be wise look within don't get sucked in by the um by the mind drug peddled by those idiots find your courage to say no the um, the lone wolf mind traveler out.